old model of the cannibal shed is as savage as they come. For more than a decade it has always been able to lure the predators from the deep, no matter where you throw it. Hey guys, I'm Mash from Savage here. I want to introduce you to one of my favorite lures, the Cannibal Shed. So in here, in between, right on the back water. So the Cannibal Shed is a soft lure that will swim with a great erratic rocking action. So the Cannibal Shed, one of my absolute favorite lures for sander, perch, and pike. Good morning everyone, today I am out with Franz and we're gonna fish for perch, zander and pike using a very iconic savage gear, the revamped cannibal shed. And the good news is it comes in a tiny 6.8 centimeter size, perfect for perch, but also in a much much bigger size, the 20 centimeter version, which will be excellent for pike. Right now we're fishing from the banks, the wind is a bit tough today. First off we're gonna cast from the banks, do some shore fishing fish with a light setup. This is the medium game with an SG6 1000 model spinning reel on top of it and I'm gonna use the 6.8 centimeter cannibal shed to catch some perch together with Franz. We're gonna scout this area over here see if we can get some perch that are migrating towards the winter spots. It is November but the temperatures in the Netherlands are way too high so the full migration hasn't started yet. Later on we're gonna pick up the big boat we're gonna head out on the lake hopefully the wind will be forgiving because it is kind of rough out there but it should be good to fish on top of the grass if we can find them using the bigger version of the cannibal shed. Using it with a shallow rig, fish above the grass, see if we can catch a couple good pike and later on when darkness sets in we're gonna cast for Xander. So we got everything packed in one day. So let's head out, start with the small size of the cannibal shed and see if we can find some birds. Like a bird graveyard over here. One, two, three, four. Up by. I think the smallest version of the new cannibal. And the color that I really like from the bird as well. The purple and yellow greenish. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> The biggest perch ever. Yeah. So we are getting the takes, but the perch are this tiny at the moment. The big migration into the harbor hasn't really started yet, I guess. Um, there are like thousands and thousands of perch that are like five, six, maybe ten centimeters. The wind is calming down a bit though, so it is a good moment to pick up the boat. Do some fishing for pike with the 17 and a half and the 20 centimeter version of the camera. This big one quite badly because there is a big windstorm coming, so we got the drift anchor out. What a take, what a take. <sighs> what a fish, nice. Super big head on the 20 centimeter cannibal shed. Fucking amazing, nice. Ooh. 
Get it back quickly and take some photos. Buddy. Strong fish. We got a couple takes on the shallows. Wind seems to be dying down a lot. Let's go. So many fish. It's so unlucky. Strong missed two. I missed one. Oh. Oh, it's, it's a bit. Uh, I don't know what this fish did, but ah, here we go. Nice, on the 20 centimeter cannibal. Let's get her back and get another one, buddy. Yeehaw! So there's a new way to rig these soft baits, the Pro Pack Blades. And this allows you to rig your soft baits as you would normally do with a shallow screw. But the downside of a shallow screw or with screw in jig heads is that they always start to turn like this one. It flips to one side and then your bait runs crooked. But now with the Pro Pack Blades, it's fairly easy. You push the blade into the bait like that. You grab a toothpick, you find the hole, you push it through like this. Now the blade is fixed. It can't twist, it can't turn, it's fully locked and it's ready to go to fish. The only thing you need to do is trim down the sides of the toothpick like this, like that. And then attach a stinger system either with one treble or two trebles, and you're good to go. What a day. We were going to start at a large body of water. In the morning there was a lot of wind, so we decided to fish for perch from the shore with the new cannibal sheds. We caught a few perch, and later on in the day we uh, picked up the boat. Well, it was really windy, so we had to find some shelter in uh, some, some covered places where the wind couldn't grip us so much. The wind will uh, die down later in the evening. And when the sun goes down, we are going to try and catch some zander. Fishing is not crazy hot at the moment, unfortunately. The wind should calm down and we can focus a bit on zander. When we're gonna fish for zander, we're probably gonna use the 12 and a half centimeter and the 15 and equipping them with Jig heads up to like 15, 17 and a half, 20 gram. Depending on the depth and the speed, we want to present our baits. Yes. On the 15 centimeter camel. Do this when you're hike fishing. Nice 50 centimeter cannibal with a 10 gram screw in. We got a uh, short window to complete our mission today, which is to catch a couple zander on top of the pike and the perch that we already caught. The wind is dying down, so I think we got like two hours left, half an hour of sunlight, and then we one and a half hour of darkness that we can fish in. Then we need to go back. Let's get this zander back too and uh, see if we can catch some more monsters. The cannibals. Woohoo! Oh, Dick and Perka. Nice. <laughs> this one was right underneath the transducer, seduced with the cannibal shit. He got into a fight. Now we want to try and catch some Xander in the dark. This lake is kind of clear. Uh, clear in the sense that the Xander usually don't hunt, or at least don't take your lures during the day. But during the night, it can be really effective to cast to them. We don't have much time. Um, we need to be back at the boat ramp at like, you know, one and a half hour or something like that. And we're just going to cast on rocky points and drop offs that go from five to eight meters. Um, we're scouting with a sonar. If we can see if the fish are on the, um, on the structures and on the drop off itself. I am using a SG4 fast game combined with an SG4 4000 AG spinning reel. 0.12 braid, not too thick, but not too thin. 
and a nice and relatively long fluorocarbon leader. And we're just gonna cast, scout, see if we can catch a couple zander. Xander on the 50 centimeter cap. So we're gonna pack our stuff up and we're gonna go back home. We had it all, we had a lot of rain, we had a lot of wind, and we have flat calm conditions. But we call Pike, we call Perch, and we got Xander as well. Pretty awesome day, and it proves that you can catch basically anything on the cannibal. The revamped cannibal, the legendary Savage Gear Bait, and now it's out with new colors and bigger sizes as well. So, subscribe to the Savage Kid YouTube channel. Thanks for watching guys and uh, see ya.